Hi Pisces, the details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates, leave what does not resonate for someone else. We're going to see how the person without you is doing. I'll be pulling their hidden truth along with an oracle message for you. And then at the end of the reading, we'll pull some cards for their sign. The person without Pisces, let's see, the person on Pisces' mind, their hidden truth. This says, I know that I crossed a line with you. They went too far. They they did. I'm getting like, I heard despicable. Very despicable. They can't be with you. Uh, somebody may have led you on. Okay. Bottom of the deck. They want you badly. This person did not intend on catching feelings for you, Pisces. I'm going to go ahead and let you know their true intentions at first was not to fall for you, but they did. They ended up falling for you. Let's see. Give me uh, two more, please. Okay. Well, I want you badly came out. It says, I want you so badly. And it says, my life is not as together as it seems. They're not happy. They may... And then it says, I feel the sexual tension. They're not happy where they're at. They're not happy without you. This person may put on a show for the outside world. They want you so bad. All right, let's see. What are they up to? For some of you guys, it, you could be dealing with another Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpios here. It's just at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. What what are they up to? Leo energy. Somebody might be focused on the gym right now. Somebody might be strength training, like literally. Um, but the strength card, this is someone holding back. Because, ooh. They're holding back their emotions because they feel like if they were to tell you how they're feeling, it would create a lot of drama. So they're fighting back, telling you how they feel because they're afraid of the drama or the obstacle it would create. Eight of Wands, this person really wants to communicate though. The Hermit, someone could have ghosted the other due to an involvement with someone else. You know, guys, nonetheless, like, whatever, this this person is deceptive. Or they were deceptive in the past, deceptive in their communication. And someone didn't mean to catch feelings, but they damn sure did. Five of Pentacles, and then they abandoned the situation. I'm, I'm hearing abort mission, like... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, y'all, but that's what I'm getting. Like, they're like, abort, abort, abort. I caught feelings for Pisces. I must abort the mission. Mm. Okay. Let's see. How are they doing in December without Pisces? Page of Pentacles. of pentacles is learning a lesson let's see what is what is this trying to say spirit they're definitely starting to pay attention to the way they treat people i'm getting someone starting to pay attention to how their actions affect others i do see this person has a guard up right now page of pentacles indicates them wanting to message you but the Nine of Wands tells me that they're little, how do I want to word that? They're hesitant to reach out. They're hesitant to tell you how they feel again, because they know that if they were to tell you how they feel, they would have a mess or it would create a bigger problem for them. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles. The hanged man. Yeah. So I'm just getting like, they're kind of stuck in this state of limbo in their life. They're not, they're not quite sure what move to make. They know what they want to do. They want to message you. But the hanged man tells me, you know, they're either hanging on to another situation, afraid to let it go. Or they're just like hung up on another situation. Like I'm getting like quite literally stuck. And so 
to everyone else, it may seem like they're happy and they, it may seem like they have it together, but the reality of the situation is they're on autopilot. They're on aut autopilot wherever they are. Kind of like their life is in a state of limbo. Where do you stand in all this? That's Pisces energy. The Emperor is divine masculine energy, but I feel like you're just trying to gain control over yourself here. Kind of like you're taking the lesson, right? The Emperor can be focused on your career. Some of you retirement, your career, or just like standing your ground. Why the Emperor? The Tower, Scorpio energy, Aries energy. You know, you feel like this whole situation has been a disaster. And I feel like you're not wanting to emotionally react to it. Some of you guys damn sure feel like it has really, you know, that Tower is like a spiritual awakening. You may have been forced out of a comfort zone, but it's like you're, you've come out wiser, stronger, and better because of this situation. You could be facing some uncomfortability at the workplace or just in life in general. There could be some upheaval happening in December. What is the advice for the Pisces that are going through that? You'll get through it. Eight of Wands. I see a situation improving. Whatever delay you've been facing, okay, at the workplace or in life in general, I do see it improving. I see the delay being lifted. We have this Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, the world. Some of you guys are going to be traveling or I just see you accomplishing something here. A lot of you Pisces, let me tell you something. There was something that happened in your life that may feel like, it may feel like your life was falling apart at one point, but it was actually putting you on the path of where you need to go. It was setting you up for success. It just might not have seemed that way, but you're going to see, I feel like in, in, I feel like leading until Jan, in, into January, you're going to be seeing just how some of this stuff that happened to you was uh, necessary. Could be happening to you now. I'm also getting us uh, quite specifically, there could be issues with your bank. Or some type of, um, definitely getting something about your bank of return. Okay, that's too specific. We're going to move on. But the general message is I see you getting through whatever this tower moment is. But I feel like you're trying to remain in control of yourself. Let's see. How do they feel about Pisces? They think you don't like them. They think that your cold demeanor, your, your aloofness is a sign of you not being interested or that you've lost interest. They think that you're making a head over heart decision. That's why they haven't heard from you. I'm also getting a lot of you guys feel like this person may have controlled your emotions for too long. I'm reading for a lot of you Pisces, so just take what resonates. It's kind of like you're gaining control over your life again. You're, you're, you know, living with intention and purpose. I just feel like you guys are improving yourself here. There's definitely a lot of improvement happening for you in December. There's a shift taking place for the better. Let's see, what do they want to do about all this? Why the Ten of Wands? They want to move. Why the Ten of Wands? Page of Swords. They want to make a move. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So somebody wants to communicate with you, but it's it's very challenging. So it's, very, so it's like they want to communicate, but it's very it's a big challenge for them to just speak. I, this person's spying on you nonetheless. They keep tabs on you somehow. They want to come back. I just feel like they're waiting for their the perfect moment. Whatever that perfect moment is to them, I mean. Tell me more. I see them 
wanting a new beginning, guys. That's what I'm getting. Ace of Wands, the fold. This person wants to take a leap of faith and ask for a new beginning with you. But there's a lot of hesitancy in December because it's the, the Ten of Wands. It's almost like they're having a hard time speaking. They're having a hard time taking accountability and actually owning up to what they did wrong. It's like they can think about it, but it's hard for the words to come out of their mouth with the Ten of Wands. Like It's like pulling teeth for this person to actually say out loud, wow, I was in the wrong. They know they were in the wrong. They know they were out of line, but it's hard for them to actually address it. Okay. And you feel like this person has a, an unhealthy ego. You feel like this person is stubborn. A lot of you guys feel like this person has to make some big changes. Okay. Let's see what you need to surrender in the month of December. Could be dealing with an Aquarius for some of you, a Gemini, an Aries, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Pisces. I have Earth energy here. It says surrender your addictions, whether you are addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or addicted to overthinking. Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So some of you guys may have developed addictions or maybe you are trying to cope with the situation by like overeating, overindulging. Your guides are wanting you to um, make healthier choices in December. It says surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So focus more on, you know, shifting things in your life for the better. I know it's really hard to just, you, I'm, I'm not by any means not telling you to just shut off your emotions or quit. Some of y'all, that's what you're doing though. I will say that some of you guys are just like a light switch. You are detaching. You're shutting off your emotions because this is you like dissociating. This is you trying to protect yourself and, and they can pick up on that energetically. But your guides are really wanting you to make healthier decisions in the month of December that can actually benefit you. Like taking um, your, whether you're angry or just obsessive over someone, put that energy towards creating something for yourself. Whatever that creation is, it's up to you. Follow your heart. We're going to do Aries through Pisces. This is their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Your guys are wanting you to focus on resting too. Prioritize your rest, mental rest, physical rest. Don't just sit around all the time, but definitely prioritize your rest is what they're saying. Let's see. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries is very defensive. I don't see the Aries taking accountability anytime soon. They have their guard up. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they obsess. The Taurus is actually obsessed over you and the situation. Some of you guys would never even know that, okay? But they are obsessing over you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I see a Gemini coming back, but be careful. This Gemini is very wishy-washy. If you're dealing with a Cancer, there's some type of movement coming in from a Cancer. I see the Cancer given to the situation soon. You might even receive a gift from this Cancer. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're... <laughs> This Leo, I'm just getting like, now this is for December. I'm, I'm getting the Leo's rude, insensitive, uh, aloof. But they have feelings for you. I feel like there's a Leo that refuses to apologize, even though they, they know you deserve one. If you're dealing with a Virgo, four of swords, they're taking a step back. Okay, in the month of December, the Virgo is taking a step back because the Four of Swords, that's to reassess. They need to think. They need to think about their next move here. I feel like they're still trying to recuperate from whatever happened between y'all. If you're dealing with a Libra, they want your attention. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, 
Scorpio's juggling in the month of December. I don't see you hearing from the Scorpio. If you do, it's very surface level communication. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, communication coming in from a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're recognizing the connection. They want to reunite with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they have romantic feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces wants a fresh start. They want a new beginning here. Alrighty, Pisces, those are your messages. If this gave you clarity, thank you so much for liking the video. But be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. Thank you guys so much for joining. Until next time, bye!